So you remember when they they censored the Hunter Biden laptop, right? And this is uh, Matt Orfel had put together a little bit of a mashup, and here's just some of it. Altered or fake, unverified emails. The story did not quite land due to the lack of verification. Let's be verified. Why can't it be verified? The laptop. Why do you say that? Well, because it can't be verified. I don't even yeah. want to report well, this. Well, this is the one of the well, most powerful no, families Liz, in Washington. Liz, I'm a journalist. Okay, to I ask would you love question, if you guys about, would start doing that verification. No, 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 no,
laptop is authentic. It was Hunter Biden's and everything in it is true and real. That's so they won't say that. They'll go, well, nothing was. Uh, no, no, no. They'll say it the backwards way. And so and why did they want to hide this stuff? Well, here's one thing they found on the uh, laptop. Contents have fueled Republican interest in Hunter Biden's business ventures. Hunter Biden was working with Chinese nationals. They say this May 2017 email outlining a proposed business deal with a Chinese energy firm is one reason why they have questions about whether President Biden benefited. We're prepared to subpoena Hunter Biden. We would certainly hope that he would want to come before the committee and clear his name. Two of Hunter Biden's former business partners, including Tony Bobulinski, who received the email, told CBS News the 10 held by H for the big guy is shorthand for 10 percent held by Hunter for his father. So that now they're reporting that on CBS. Why? Because it's going to come out in Congress soon. So now they have to tell the truth. They can't keep lying like they just did in that video put together by Matt Orfala. Now, so now they have to like, oh shit, uh, everybody's going to know the truth come January. We oh, better no. get out in front of this and say we already reported it. Can they make masks for my ears too? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, is that what you think this is? What do you mean, what do I? Do you think this? that this is the CBS News and the establishment yeah. trying to pretend like they've been telling the truth about this because they know all the truth is going to come out in an actual congressional hearing? Yeah, absolutely. They, I mean, they they waited conveni conveniently and strategically, you know, t uh, two years after the presidential election and after the midterms. So so now they can say it uh, without it being very that politically significant. At least that's that's my take on it. I mean, yeah. sure, it, it will be used in the future, but uh, yeah. The yeah. embargo is lifted now. Yeah, it's an amazing. It's right after the election and after the midterms. Now they exactly. and after the Republicans take over Congress and they're going to hold public hearings on the laptop. Now we're going to tell you the truth about it. Now, oh, guess what? Turns out we hired our own experts because that's what they did in this report. They show them sit down with their own experts and they our experts have verified it. Why did you wait two fucking years to do this? Yeah. Or or three? It's almost three years now. Why yes. wouldn't you have done this before? Uh, that that's oh we're just doing it now because uh you know they had to get a head start in the paul pelosi footage and and let's re <laughs> and, uh, and let's remind everybody why they did this and how they actually feel about it they're okay with lying to you and suppressing information to throw an election because watch what they did hunter biden at that point hunter biden literally could have ha had the corpses of children in his basement i would not have cared right it's like it's, there's nothing First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not. It's like it's not Joe Biden. Uh -huh. But even if Joe, like even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like if you if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right, or China, it is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know Trump. Is involved in it's like it's like it's like a firefly to the sun, right? I mean, like there, there's just it doesn't even it doesn't even stack up against Trump University, right? Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in in Hunter Biden's laptop, in my view, right? Now that's not that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the you know the New York Post's. Twitter account like that. That's a, just a conspiracy. That's a left wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely. It was absolutely right. But I think it was warranted. Right. And I'm and again, it's a coin toss as to whether or not Sam, I'm sorry, that particular piece. I'm, I'm is, really yeah. sorry. I, I was the one that said we should move yeah, yeah. on. But you've just oh, said yeah. something I really struggle with there, which is the, you kid, support. The, kid, the kids in the basement. You no, no. <laughs> fuck yeah. the kids in the basement. I'm interested yeah. in democracy. You're saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president. Well, no, I'm, I'm content. Well, so it's, but the thing is, it's just not left-wing, right? So Liz Cheney is not left-wing, right? Liz Cheney is You're doing content everything with a conspiracy in her power to prevent somebody no, being democratically. It's not like a, no, but there's nothing conspiracy. It's not. It, it was a conspiracy out in the open. Okay, content. I demand one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Not, not only was he content with a left-wing conspiracy to influence the election, he demanded one. I love that. I just realized he goes, no, no, Liz Cheney. No, it's a uniparty conspiracy. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's a uniparty conspiracy. Okay, then I guess that's The whole good. government's corrupt. No, yeah. That's not the point. Trump University. Anything I else? I just love what Kurt said er, yeah, earlier about how Sam Harris, of all people, he he's making clear he wants an Ayatollah, <laughs> a supreme leader, as long as it's a, from the DNC. Suicide bombing can be warranted if it is for against the infidel. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Matt, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I just have to point out that so many of those uh, mainstream media clips uh, t saying that the Hunter Biden laptop uh, was disinformation, which is itself misinformation yes. and disinformation, that's still up on YouTube. That's still up all over YouTube. You've got uh, John Brennan, former CIA right. director, spewing that disinformation okay. on Washington Post's YouTube channel. And that's still up. But I put up a factually accurate compilation, okay, and Matt, Matt, that's taken down. Matt, that's too uh, dangerous. Matt, Matt, the truth we, is dangerous. The lies are okay as long as it's on your mainstream propaganda channels. No, 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 Matt, 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 no, uh, Matt, Matt. I'm okay. We can go down this rabbit hole of the endless corruption of uh, the government. It's like a firefly compared to the sun of the video <laughs> that you made, and I, I think it was warranted. <laughs> all right matt thank everybody check out matt orfila's youtube channel while it's, while you still can yeah yeah okay and matt taibi substack you just made you. strike two buddy we'll see you november 26th that's the saturday after thanksgiving in burbank and then all december we're going to be in los angeles doing friday night shows go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member while you're there you get all of our videos unedited jimmydoor.com not jimmydoor comedy